that, but I'm Blaine. I'm here with Happy Pad. Uh, I don't have a lot of time and I have a lot of information, so I'll just cut right to it. Happy Pad is an online website that lets you connect hosts with empty spaces with renters in their community. Uh, renters like students, like immigrants, like seniors, like professionals, and everyone outside and in between. Uh, we're really just trying to make home sharing as safe and secure and accessible as possible. And we do that in five ways. I'll break it down for you real quick. Uh, there's more to our service than this, but it's the easiest way to do it right now. Uh, number one, we help hosts list their spaces all in one place. Um, you just mentioned that, oh, she's gone, um, <laughs> that it's difficult to find home sharing opportunities. Uh, you can browse on Facebook, you can browse on Kijiji, but they're all intertwined with other types of rentals on HappyPad. Uh, dot com. It's only home sharing rentals. Uh, number two, we do background checks for all of our hosts and all of our renters, uh, which we're going to talk a bit more about in just a second. Uh, number three, we do compatibility matching, which I've heard a couple times this morning, uh, people talking about compatible uh, renters for their hosts. Home sharing is a lot more personal than just renting out a unit or being an ordinary landlord. You're going to be sharing a kitchen, you're going to be sharing a bathroom in most cases, going to be sharing a, a living space. And so we really want to match you with somebody who uh, is compatible completely. Like you're gonna, you're gonna get along. You're gonna jive. You're not gonna clash every day. We don't want to find out that your living scenario is less than ideal. So compatibility matching is uh, super important to us. When you become a host or a renter, you fill out a profile that uh, we say is a lot like Match.com. Uh, we ask you lots of personal questions about yourself. We ask you uh, what time you usually go to bed at night, what time you usually wake up, and how important it is for your renter to have a similar type of lifestyle to you. Do you have uh, dietary restrictions? And then just all kinds of questions like who else lives in your house? Do you have any pets? Are you okay with there being pets in the house uh, that aren't your own? Um, and then we try to match people that are uh, the most compatible. Now hosts have the option to deviate from the selections that we make because it's just algorithmic. But you know, we might say here are the 10 best people in your community to match with you and they can leave those 10 and go find somebody else. Uh, but number four, we do contracts. So we're the ones who actually draw up the rental contract for you. Uh, we send it to the host. If the host likes it, they can send it to the renter. If the renter likes it, they can sign it. It goes back to the host. Host signs it, and then we'll contact you with uh, uh, We'll contact you to uh, set up a move-in date and all those other things. And then number five, uh, probably the most important one for a lot of people is uh, we are the ones who collect rent payments and deposit them directly into the host's account every month. Um, and you might have uh, heard David mention it. Uh, it is free. Our service is completely free here in Nova Scotia. So. Uh, thanks to a partnership that we have with the government, we're able to provide our service completely for free. So hosts make 100% of the renter's rent payment and hosts don't pay any fees when signing up um, at all. They don't pay for their background check, they don't pay for any registration fees. Uh, on the other side, student, not students, sorry, renters do pay for a single fee. Stu uh, renters pay for their background check. Uh, it's $20.95, and we'll talk some more about background checks in uh, just a second. But uh, the reason why we charge the, the renters is because um, they actually get that money reimbursed to them on their first rental payment. Um, but if we had 1,000 people sign up as a renter, we would lose $21 for each one of those. So we reimburse that amount when they make their first rent payment. Um, but uh, now we'll talk... Uh, more about the fees, basically. Actually, I guess that's really all there is to do with the fees. There are no fees for hosts uh, at all. We, we're really just trying to make home sharing, like I said, safe and secure and accessible, and that partnership with the government allows us to make it completely free. Uh, knocking down barriers. Now, I understand it's a technology is obviously a major barrier, and some people uh, don't want to use an online service to to complete this uh, process of home sharing. We understand that. Um, we have a couple different solutions I'll mention in a second, but uh, when it comes to background checks, uh, that's again part of the safe and secure part of home sharing. We, we do background checks on all the hosts and all the renters, and that's something that can be a bit of a sticking point for some people, uh, not because they're trying to hide their past, but they get to the stage in their, their sign up where it asks them uh, to punch in their, their driver's license information, basically. So we use a background service called Certain. It's a pretty ubiquitous service. If you're signing up or trying to apply for a job these days, it's pretty common to get a request from the employer to fill out a background check. Uh, they ask you for your driver's license or your passport, whatever you have, and your addresses over the last five years, and then they run a background check on you, and as long as it's all good, you're all good, uh, and you can proceed. Some people don't want to punch their driver's license or passport information into a computer, into their tablet, into their phone, and uh, we completely, completely understand that. Uh, it is a little bit uh, nerve-wracking for people who maybe are a little uh, less tech savvy and you know the idea of punching in your personal information is goes against everything you learned about the internet early on is never do that um, 
but it is a secure service. Uh, they do handle your driver's license, your, your passport, whatever information securely. And again, that's just part of our process to make sure that we're not matching anybody with maybe a less than savory past. Um, and if somebody does not pass their, their background check, they can still proceed. It is up to the host. It depends on their background check results, obviously. It really is up to their own discretion. Um, but then, uh, after that, uh, so helping people sign up is a thing that we've heard a lot in Nova Scotia, is that a lot of people don't want to just be handed, go to a website and sign yourself up. Uh, one thing that, uh, so there's only two employees here uh, in the province so far, it's just me and our customer support uh, team staff, uh, Sulamith. But we're looking at getting an office space where we can help people sign up. We'll have office hours and they can make an appointment with us, come inside, sign up face to face. And that would likely be in, in Halifax. That doesn't help people who, I mean, we're not too far right now, but our service is available province wide. We're also looking at doing sign up workshops. So going to libraries or community centers, places like this, uh, signing up five, ten people who are interested in HappyPad, telling them, bring your cell phone or bring your tablet, uh, bring your driver's license, and I'll bring the coffee and donuts, and we'll sign you up. And uh, I know this is a lot of information. It's a big information dump. I have a, a sheet at the back. If you didn't grab one of these, uh, please do. It's just uh, some basic information. gives you an outline of our partnership uh, with the government, some benefits of home sharing, uh, which I haven't even mentioned. I haven't even mentioned the, the benefits of home sharing, which have uh, come up many times this morning. Um, but it really does uh, help people in a, a lot of ways, not just the cost savings, uh, but the community. Uh, obviously, if you're sharing a space with people, lowering the utility bill, that's excellent. That's great. That's living sustainably. But a lot of people uh, want to home share for the community aspect for it, for the security aspect for it, for the, the peace of mind it gives them of having somebody around. And aging in place is a benefit that we uh, definitely, definitely see with our hosts. Our hosts are mostly uh, ages 50 to 70. Um, we have hosts outside of that range, but that's the majority of them. And a lot of them really enjoy that they're able to age in place and stay in their home and live sustainably. A lot of people myself included, like I, I plan to live in my house as, as long as I possibly can, but there might come a day where I need someone to rake my lawn or shovel my walk. And those are parts of uh, our rental agreements that you can incorporate with your renter, that you're going to need their help one way or another with, with certain aspects, even carrying in groceries. Um, you can make those little caveats and those clauses in your rent to include with your renter. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I have. Um, please grab one of these sheets uh, if you haven't already. If you have any questions about HappyPad, I'm gonna be here all afternoon. Uh, please ask when the uh, Q&A comes up. Uh, I'm sure you have lots and lots of questions. Uh, people usually do. And um, yeah, that's all I have. So thanks so much and thanks for being here.